Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Diddy. Yes, the dark side of the moon. Today, a TA video about Bitcoin, of course, on Monday, the 8th of May, drinking my beautiful coffee Ooh, with laser eyes over there. Hmm. Let's quickly jump into the charts to show you what I think that is happening at the moment over here. here. This is the first chart, this is the four hour chart guys. And on the four hour chart, you can see beautifully the Bam Bam again calling a short and it did take that short. <coughs> a short was called over there. There was a red dot bluish on the, uh, the bottom, even yellow. Uh, the white line started to bend down and there the blue line was acting below the white line. That's a beautiful short over there on the four hour chart. Let's take it very late over there. That's a 2.4% profit without leverage. Leverage of 10, of course, that is increasing your profit. If you want to have access to the Bam Bam, go to the bitcoinfamily.com. If you zoom out to the one day channel, we can see uh, something really more beautiful. Um, we are still finding support on that 50 daily moving average, uh, but we need to close that candle today above 28K, 28.5K. Uh, at the moment, we are at 28.3K. So that's a $200 push, push, push. And then we get uh, the body closing on that green line and a large wick to the bottom again. And if you look to the left, you saw two red candles with a large wick to the bottom. And after that, what happened? A green, green, green. And another green candle pushing Bitcoin up again. So it's important that in 16 hours and 53 minutes, we close that candle above that greenish line on the daily. We are zooming out a little bit more because that's way more important. The bearish scenario that I told you guys already weeks ago is that we make a higher low. And that higher low can be around the 200 weekly moving average. That red line where I said, oh, this could be the higher low. The yellow line coming down to 26K, going up again to 25K. That could be the move, but you never know in Bitcoin, but that's how Bitcoin moves. If you look to the RSI in the bottom, you can also see that the RSI is a little bit on the high level side of the dotted line um, so we could go to the bottom again of the dotted line before that we push even higher but we don't freak out we zoom out we zoom out to the monthly chart i'm going to tweet this chart today with all these numbers and everything on it because if you look to this monthly chart that i've been sharing already for over a year you see we does not we do not freak out but we zoom out look today i added these dotted lines the dotted green lines every time when we cross that line with the candles then you can see in the bottom that RSI, the purple line is crossing the yellow line. That's the bull market start. The bear market start is when we see that red circle, when that purple line is crossing and um, that yellow line to the downside. Every time, just pause the video, check this chart, also the MACD, we are ending this red area. We are going into a green MACD very soon, uh, which uh, beautifully is in line with the halving in April 2024. And again, I think with the top in 2025, somewhere July, August, September. Um, I also added uh, today the bottom 2026. Would that be at the 400 weekly moving average? So the 400 weekly moving average is that one. That is the green one over there that you now saw flashing. Um, that is not important now yet because uh, that bottom will be somewhere in 2026. But then that bottom could be the greenish line. So we are going to take an eye, uh, keep an eye on that one in the future as well. I have a few more charts, but first some news. Uh, the news over here: Binance halts Bitcoin withdrawals for the second time in 12 hours. Why? Because too many people were withdrawing Bitcoins and there were too many costs involved because uh, the cost of uh, sending and receiving Bitcoin was a little bit high because the blocks were over full and people were prepared to pay a shitload of fees um, for the movement of their bitcoins and that is um, the first time i think the fees were even higher than the blocks so i will show you this later but uh, this didn't happen at bybit <laughs> and that's a beautiful link for me to tell you uh, go and use bybit use the link down below claim your bonus at the moment you can use the special uh, bonus that only is there for the bitcoin family if you sign up using that link, QR code, or the link, you get um, $20 for just depositing $100. You get $20 and you have the chance of winning an iPhone. For every 100 people that sign up, one iPhone will be given away. So do sign up and you will be able to win that iPhone 14. Now, beautiful. Uh, some people ask me about Bam Bam Bar. Uh, Bam Bam Bar, um, as you remember, was somewhere near, I'm going to scroll there, over here. 
here, the train station, that was what Bam Bam Bar was last year. And today it suddenly moved the pen to there. So that might be a surprise, but I can't say anything yet about it. But I would go and check out the location of the pen. I am now in Spain. So um, for me, I will not be there yet, but soon I will be around that pin and maybe a Bam Bam vibe will be there as well. So uh, do check that out. Now let's quickly jump in the last two charts that are very important for you guys that are here. Yes, this is the first one. Um, this is the Bitcoin cycle bottom index. And um, we have shown this before. I'm going to show it again because I want to show to you guys that yes, Bitcoin is volatile. It's going up and down. It's doing all kinds of crazy stuff. But every time when there is a halving, um, towards that halving, we are going slowly up. And from that halving, we will explode massively up. We are now here. We are nearing that halving in a couple of months. 11 or months now. Yeah, 11 months. So, yes, be accumulating Bitcoin to take the shit of the profits in that next part after the halving. It will happen again and again and again. That is also shown on this chart here. This is plan B stock to flow model very clearly telling you every time when that halving happens and for the ones that don't understand when the halving happened over here in 2016 and over here in 2020 those moments and it will happen over here in 2024. Look what happened after that gray line pumping up the halving. Then the dots go up as well. Then the dots go up as well. Then the dots will go up as well. That's why I'm saying 2025 will be the bull run top. Now, uh, one more chart for all the people that were um, too slow with capturing the one before. Now you can capture it here beautifully with my face. Share it all over Twitter and all over all the social media. Because if you pause the video now, you will see all these numbers lining up again. Also here, the green dots on the bottom. Pause the video and... Um, Make a screenshot, share it with everyone that you know, because people should be understanding to go into Bitcoin right now. Bam. That was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed my coffee. I didn't get the time to drink. I will drink now. Mm. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please join me in the dark side of the moon where we will pump Bitcoin all the way up. Oh, there is three meme coins. Yes, I will keep doing the meme coins because I really love the game. It's a casino, but I like them. Um, you should take a look at Tether. You should take a look at Moonbitrum. That's a meme coin and Arbitrum. And today, I will call another one. But that will be around 11.30 or something that I will call that one because it's not live yet. And it's a really cool one. Now, check them out. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow again. Have a beautiful day. Bam.